guys, welcome back to another video. I'm excited to share today's video with you. So it's gonna be another like homemaking style video where I take you with me just doing some household things. I need to get groceries, meal plan. Uh, I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys and maybe some other stuff. I really haven't planned it all out, but I thought I would bring you all with me and just share my day or a couple days with you. So if you're new here, my name is Lynette Yoder. I live in Sarasota, Florida with my family and we'd love to have you join our channel. We are expecting baby number four and it will be arriving, the Lord willing, in the spring of 2022. So we're excited about that and that's kind of been the newest news on the block, if you will. So I'm gonna get started with today's video and hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so I am gonna make some pumpkin cinnamon baked oatmeal. So I'm getting a recipe from this cookbook, which I've mentioned before. It's a mom and daughter duo and yeah, so far I really, really like this cookbook. And I'm also using this pumpkin, which is from Walnut Creek Foods. I love their products. Uh, I'll talk about them in a little bit. Nick has Oakland, he's at home, and I need groceries. I made a grocery list as well as a meal plan for the week. Uh, and then I also need to stop at Once Upon a Child since I'm gonna be going by anyway. I'm trying to find clothes for uh, family pictures, which are at the end of the week. <laughs> I'm stressing just a little bit because I'm just not quite finding what I need. So I'm gonna be going to Aldi and Detweiler's, I think. So far, I made it to Once Upon a Child in Aldi. And now I have to head back home because I am not gonna have enough time to go to Detweiler's as I had planned. I guess something that will interfere with that. So I gotta go home and hopefully maybe run down there later. Not really sure. As far as what I'm making uh, for the week, I have three or four meals here that I can make. Uh, so tonight I pulled out a pan of frozen poor man steak uh, because I knew this afternoon I'd be busy enough um, and then I plan to do some green beans and a roasted potatoes and then another night I have a maple roasted chicken and sweet potatoes and that's a recipe actually from Farmhouse on Boone I don't know if you guys follow her I followed Lisa for years and I thought this recipe looked really good I downloaded her um, whole month menu plan so go check out her um, channel if you haven't and Another one is pork chops and sweet potatoes. Um, there's a pork chop recipe in Hope's Table, the cookbook that I have, and then also she has, well, it's not a recipe, you don't really need a recipe for sweet potatoes, but I think I might just do the regular baked sweet potatoes with like a cinnamon butter topping or something. If I need a, another one, um, Lisa also had the, it's called Einkorn Hamburger Helper with steamed broccoli. And then I'm probably not gonna do the broccoli, but I'll do something else on the side. That's if I need it actually. So that's kind of a meal that can be like more a quick type of thing. So that's what I am planning for this week. I don't usually do very well at meal planning, but I'm trying to do a bit more some healthier options, more protein, and just some more like whole food stuff. That's what I'm planning for this week. And once I get my Detweiler stuff, I'll try to show you that. Okay, so I have a gallon of milk and also some water out in the fridge, but otherwise I put the Aldi haul here. So I'll try to do it really quickly. Butter, I love this yogurt. If you haven't tried it, it's really, really good. It's a honey Greek yogurt. I got two bars of cheese, sharp cheddar, Colby Jack, a bag of hash browns to have on hand. I got some garlic, some organic strawberries, also some chicken salad. I haven't had any in a while. 
and then uh, sour cream, pack of napkins, and some zesty Italian dressing, which I like to have on hand for marinades. And then I needed some paper products. I also grabbed a uh, pack of uh, paper towels. Those are out in the garage as well. So tissues, um, disposable plates, some of these medley potatoes, I think they're called, something like that. And then the freezer gallon bags and some disposable cups. Also, I got some apple juice. And then my favorite Dunkers. If you haven't tried these, you are missing out. Been buying them for years. And then some baking soda, pure maple syrup, and I got some ghee butter. Also, a lo loaf of bread, and then some pudding. I also got two of these uh, frozen pie crusts. At this point, they're not frozen anymore, but um, I think this is a seasonal item, so I don't know if Aldi always has these. And then some bananas, bacon bits, raisins for Oakland, some assorted yogurt, and the cereal. I really like this kind. It has like the yogurt bites in it. Also some uh, cinnamon crunch toast. And then I got this Texas toast. I like to have this on hand if we're doing some type of like a pasta meal or something. Just put that in the freezer. And then I got some eggs. Some whipped topping, bag of onions, and bacon. And then some assorted pork chops and bone-in skin-on chicken thighs. I did want to mention that Walnut Creek Foods is sponsoring the video today and I'm very thankful for that. And you know if you've been following me for a long time that I've worked with them for a long time and I love their stuff. Um, they are based in Holmes County. If you're new to all of this, um, they have a production plant up there that they try to make as many of the foods themselves as they can and they also have two locations like store locations walnut creek cheese up there and i've shown it numerous times in my videos from the holmes county area so go check those out if you're wanting to see what those are all about but they also have a website walnutcreekcheese.com that you can order and so i love to make you guys aware of the walnut creek foods brand i just i stand behind their products and you can find them in a lot of like deli stores they're not in every state in the united states but pretty close and this time of year uh, some things that are popular of course are pumpkin they have their apple butter i should try that i should actually just place an order and like order some things um, but they have that and they're also they also have some like canning type things if you're still needing things uh, they just have a lot of good like deli meats and cheeses good quality and um, Definitely check out uh, your local areas if you haven't already and look for the brand So uh, it's just something that I like to talk about something that I hope that you guys enjoy as well I wanted to quickly fill you in on that Okay So here's the haul from once upon a child first of all Florida we don't need a lot of coats, okay, but <laughs> We are going up north this fall, so we have a wedding in Tennessee. Nick's brother's getting married, and that's gonna be in November, like towards the end of November, right before Thanksgiving. Then we plan to go up to Holmes County for Thanksgiving, and it's generally pretty cold. So I found this really, really cute coat for Oakland. Sometimes you do need some thicker items here in like January and February, so I'm expecting she'll get some more use out of it besides just that one time. Um, but along the lines of winter, um, I also found this little one, and I hope it's not going to be too big. It is a 2T. This one's children's place, and their stuff often runs a little big, but it's so cute. 850, 850. So they're both 850. Maybe a little steep, but in all reality, I mean, it's it is a thicker piece of clothing. And then I grabbed her some leggings. This is like a sweater dress and I thought it'd be great for this winter. Uh, it kind of has some like gold sparkles in it. I also found her some little boots, like can you even? She's probably not gonna wear them too much, but once again, I'm hoping this could be something she can wear uh, there. Okay, so I do have some things here that were 50% off, so that did help, uh, but I got her this one. It's a really cute kind of purple long sleeved. Uh, this one was Wonder Nation, so actually it would have been Walmart. So these would have been this originally 350, so in half that's a good price. 
This one was $4.50, half off. This one I got for Christmas. I couldn't pass it up. It's just a beautiful green plaid dress. I love it. And I found a shirt for Jackson. I'm, I got it as like maybe I need it for an option type of thing. So uh, this one's just like a nice kind of, I don't know, almost like a chambray, but it's more like a, a wool texture almost. I don't know, it's Cat and Jack brand. I found a short sleeved shirt for Caden. Another one for him, I really like this one. This one's kind of wintry, I guess, uh, or fall. But I thought that one was really cute. This is actually Abercrombie Kids, and hopefully he can wear it. Um, and then I grabbed this one for Jackson, and it's, if you guys are familiar with fishing shirts, this is a fishing shirt. <laughs> I've been getting educated in, you know, certain things like that, shall we say. This one is a Columbia brand, and it's got like that wicking, it's like the wicking fabric. Jackson, literally, he has like one other fishing style shirt and he wears it like whenever he possibly can. And anyway, he has another option. So, <laughs> so I got um, green shorts for probably Jax. Oh, I grabbed another pair of shoes for Oakland. These are like some gold, kind of like ballet flats, but they have a little elastic here. And I was really thrilled to find these. So apparently someone else has boys that are about the same distance apart as ours. So they need water shoes and I'm hoping they can wear these like right now. Uh, so like when we go swimming uh, with like the boat and stuff, there's, you know, you're down on the sand in some places when you stop, it's, you know, you never know what's on the ground and stuff. I mean, the water might be clear, but it's just good to have, you know, swimming shoes. So. They've never had any like these. So, yeah, I was excited about that. These are only $3.50, so even if they can't wear them right now, they can wear them down the road. So That's the little kids haul that I have for you. All right, first time ever for homemade croutons for me. They're actually really good. And these would also freeze if you want to put them in an airtight container or, you know, freezer bag or something. They would also freeze well. And these, I am thinking of making Amish style dressing and mashed potatoes and things just to give you guys an idea what we do for Thanksgiving. So this is what goes into our, some people would call it stuffing, but we call it dressing. So. I just went ahead and used those. So that'll be coming in a future video. You know what we're gonna do? Where are we gonna go? I think. Are we gonna get some coffee? Cappies. Coffee. Good morning uh, again. So I just dropped the boys off. It's around 8.30 and I didn't have coffee yet. I had some tea earlier, but I'm gonna grab some and then we're gonna go do the Detweilers thing and also probably some other things today yet. Not exactly sure what all the day will hold. I might also pop in at the Mid-Ocean Circle House and see what's happening. I know they were texturing and possibly even painting. Mama. So, might show you guys that. This this Daddy. video is gonna be all over the place. Daddy. That little Magna Doodle is quite an entertainment for her. Is it good? Yeah. 
Another bite. Mmm. Okay, so I got a cinnamon, I think they're called cinnamon cake muffins. I love them if they're heated up just a little bit. They're warm. So we shared that one. And I got a caramelized maple latte. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone's here this morning. I'm just gonna quick take a peek. Look at this. Wow. Okay, it looks like they've got at least the prime coat on. That's probably what it is, just primer. Still waiting on the windows. And flooring and then kitchen. Oh, looks so different. I haven't been in here in a couple weeks. So this is gonna be like the living area. They're gonna have a big like fireplace mantle here. Um, the living room's a lot smaller than their main like kitchen dining room area, which is out here. But if you guys remember, I don't know if you've been with me long enough or if you remember at all, the kitchen used to be like right in here. So where this window was, it's a typical Florida style kitchen in the middle. And then they have like a dining room over there and like another living room. So now they're flip-flopping. They're putting the kitchen all up there, big island, and we're gonna have a table here and then another like set of cabinets for like a coffee bar area and things like that. So they really wanted like a big gathering space for when their family's all here. Um, they don't live here locally. They're just out of state. They may be renting it out some. And then here's the master bedroom and bathroom. So this will have a vanity here, double vanity and open closet right here. And then it's kind of dark in here. This is gonna be like toilet and a linen cabinet there. And then around here, it's gonna be their shower. Big walk-in shower. And of course this will be a window so that'll let in some light. So if you'd watched the last video I did, I had talked about some changes that we're making business-wise and whatnot. This is one of the two projects that I am going to be finishing up this year, hopefully by the end of December. And then the other project is the condo, which I'd started even earlier than this. I'm just doing like the design part of it, of course. So there's a contractor, Chip, the contractor is involved in both the projects. So that project has been taking a lot longer. I don't know exactly why. It's just delays with things and yeah. So that one's also Whoa. probably gonna... Uh oh, did you drop your pen? That one's also probably gonna be close to the end of the year by the time everything is said and done. So that is kind of the two main things. I have quite a lot of furniture ordered and everything. But uh, for instance, so the furniture industry is very frustrating because <laughs> anything to do with foam and otherwise too, but foam especially, there's been a shortage. And so I ordered, uh, for instance, for the condo, I ordered two like custom sofas from a local furniture place back in June. And they told me originally September, and it's now saying probably the end of November, and I'm going, oh, please. Like, at this point, it's almost too late to even order anything else because of the time frame. I mean, it's already middle of October almost. So I'm just hoping, and the owners are very gracious. They're like, hey, that's just how it is right now, and they're okay with that. So I'm hoping praying that it'll all come but yeah there's just been a lot of frustrations with furniture and ordering things and back orders and delays and whatnot so anyway I'm heading to Detweiler's now look at all the pumpkins don't know what Detweiler's is. Uh, it's called Detweiler's Bar Market and we actually go to the same church as them. They have about five, I think, different store locations in Sarasota, Venice, and Palmetto. And this is, I think, the second to biggest 
is just amazing. So, quite the experience. My good friend Dorcas. <laughs> Hi, Zeke. <laughs> oh. uh. Are you here for a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Well, I'll take her with me for a little while. Okay, I think you just crunched a graham cracker unless you got it out. <laughs> oh, goodness. Made it out of Dowilers. So just a tidbit, uh, some of you guys have seen Dorcas in other videos, uh, but she is actually a Detweiler. Well, she's married, so she doesn't have the Detweiler name anymore, but she's the daughter daughter of Henry Detweiler, and so it's the, kind of their family thing and everything, but anyway, she's a party, and she was trying to spoil her yet today, so as you can tell, she's a bit grumpy. What's the problem? What do you want? What? Let's go drive. Maybe that'll calm you down. All right. So here's the little haul from Detweiler's. So I grabbed, they have like the ready to go pack. So this is off the bone ham. Got a jar of applesauce, some apple cider. And then I got this stuff for the hamburger helper. And then a couple Long Creek things, uh, pumpkin and sweetened condensed milk. Also needed some jam. And then this is the hot pepper jam, which is uh, really good with like cream cheese and you put cream cheese and you put this on top of that and then um, use like Ritz crackers and dip it. Oh, so good, you should try it. Um, and then got the Martin's uh, maple brown sugar bread. It's a good morning breakfast. And I decided to get a loaf of Italian bread. I thought maybe I could do like a garlic bread with it, like homemade style. And then I could also like cut it up for um, croutons. And then I needed some fresh herbs. Uh, so thyme, rosemary. And I grabbed some liquid aminos and some local honey. And also the Walnut Creek uh, white cheese curls, white cheddar cheese curls, and then some golden delicious apples. I think these are usually about my favorite, and a couple more sweet potatoes, and then these holiday grapes. These are like really, really sweet. So, so that is what I bought at Detweiler's. Okay, so the next thing I need to tackle is Oakland's room. It has just kind of gotten... <laughs> Let's just say it's it's full. Uh, we moved to a play kitchen up here because I don't have room for it downstairs yet. I had thought I would put it somewhere, but we're not really at that stage. And so everything is kind of just, I don't know, bare. The picture up there broke. And so uh, it's, it's just, I need to go through clothes, figure out what I want to keep. We still don't know the baby's gender, so I'm not gonna get rid of, like I kept a good basket full probably so far, and then sometimes I'll donate some, other times I'll resell it, things like that, but I need to go through, figure out what she's outgrown, and just in general, give it a bit of a uh, facelift. Step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain While taking in the view You will find the life is
Also, if you need a good bow source, Little Poppy Co, they're on Instagram. Uh, they have like a monthly subscription you can do and I'm an affiliate with them. And so if you're needing some good sources for cute bows or headbands and whatnot, they are a great small shop to check out. These are all headbands and some of them I had actually taken the elastic part out and just put like a clip in it from like another hairband. I was like, oh, I can reuse them, but these are still all in the headband. So I'm gonna save them for now in case it's a girl. Oakland just doesn't like the headbands. She's taken those off for a long time already. So I just use like the alligator clip in her hair. So I'll save those for now. You're broken and you're shattered at the point of no return. You pick up the pieces and you let the bridges burn. So come to the water, you're sailing with the breeze. Take a step into the river where you will find peace. Where you go through the storm. donated so I still need to get another frame for her picture here that way I could put this here um, but I brought this pothos up here I think it's a pothos philodendron maybe it's a different style nonetheless and then the rest of it I just kind of left for now uh, this side I have the crib the rocker, which we don't use a lot, but I'm gonna keep it obviously for the next one. And changed out her bedding. There's her little crib with stuffed animals and sound machine and stuff. And then this area here is all done for now. Went through her clothes. I've got two baskets that are clothes she has outgrown, but I wanna keep in case we have a girl. I've got a basket of blankets. That's stuff to grow into. This is like bags and a dress up piece of clothing and then some like new things I could maybe use as gifts or for another baby. And then I have her clothes that I wanna hang up here. And then generally I have like extra wipes and diapers in there and then I have some other um, baby monitor gear things that the bag we use for church usually. And that's about it. So yeah, pretty simple. This is her crib sheet that I've used. I used the gray one if I'm, you know, washing the other one, but I like this one. That one was from Mimi Baby, I think. And the kitchen set is from Teamson Kids. I had purchased it here a little while ago. And I find she doesn't use it very much if it's up here. So ideally I'd put it downstairs somewhere, but we'll see what we could do. And then I got her a little high chair for her babies and stuff and then the dresser, of course, was thrifted, and I just have her wipes and diapers up there, and that's that. All right, time to put her to bed. Okay, I really loved that recipe, uh, Lisa's recipe with the maple like roasted chicken with sweet potatoes. I just, I love that kind of thing. And it's different and it was literally one pot, like how easy. Um, the boys, maybe not as much. They like the chicken okay. And I put the garlic bread and you know, that Italian bread that I got, they love that. Um, they're not, they're kind of picky. And so sweet potatoes and things like that is not as much their, their thing, but I loved it. Anyway, very long video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it gave you motivation, encouragement, uh, just stay the course. Um, these days things are looking a little scary at times, 
but I know that I cannot dwell on that and God knows what is in store for everyone and we need to trust him in that. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. I love that. And don't forget to check out walnutcreekcheese.com in the description box uh, to shop their things or look around locally. All right, see you all next time. Bye guys.